Hey, no doubt uh, we all want our children to succeed. And if at any point we can intervene positively, we want to take that opportunity and um, enable our children to flourish, uh, especially um, when it comes to athletics and sports performance and uh, you know, getting the most they can out of their bodies. Uh, if you have a son or a daughter uh, between the ages of say 10 and 25, who's very active and or uh, participating in sports, running, you really want to get this one lab test done on them. You want to get their ferritin levels checked. Ferritin, also known as the gold standard for iron testing. Um, you wanna make sure that they have sufficient iron levels. More and more, I'm finding that the source of low motivation of anxiety symptoms, of depression, of poor recovery, and literally, you know, a lack of performance when the, the child has all the capabilities and has been putting in the time, um, and even overuse injuries in, in, in many of these children within this 10 to 25 year old age group is related to s simply a lack of iron. And iron is very simple. It's a very simple answer, but iron is very complex in that it is necessary for enabling our bodies, your children's bodies, to move um, oxygen around to every cell in the entire body. So without it, you know, they're in big trouble and um, performance is gonna lack, the, the brain doesn't function as well, and uh, these kids end up underperforming. Uh, when we could be helping them, we could be supporting them, we could be taking care of this simple little thing um, just by getting the iron levels up. And uh, that that is not um, okay with me that we don't help these kids out. So when these teens and young adults are, you know, they're pushing their bodies to the max, they are uh, requiring massive amounts of oxygen to be transported to their brain, to their heart, to their uh, skeletal muscle, um, to their digestive tract, um, you name it, every cell in the body requires iron and every cell in the body requires oxygen. Um, and the only way that oxygen gets to where it needs to get to is um, via this little usher called iron hanging out on red blood cells. And you know, many people get their iron level, say they get their iron levels checked, I'm, I'm iron sufficient kind of thing. But all the doctor did was check what's called a complete blood count or a CBC, which can tell you about your white blood cells, your red blood cells, your hemoglobin hematocrit. But um, this this is not the gold standard. A ferritin level is the gold standard uh, for iron sufficiency and to make sure your, your child can perform at their highest level. So ask your doctor, doc, I want a ferritin level, please. Uh, if your doctor suggests, nah, we're not gonna do that for you, then um, it's time to hit up something like Direct Labs um, there's actually, Direct Labs is the name of a lab online, but you can get plenty of other labs out there that are direct to consumer and get your levels tested. These labs are using the exact same lab that your doctor's using. Um, just, uh, they're just like a little in-betweener. So uh, once you have those levels, um, the ferritin levels checked, then um, we can talk about, you know, in upcoming videos, how you could optimize those levels to make sure that your, your child can get the most out of their body and uh, you know, doesn't succumb to not enjoying their sport in there anymore, not you know, enjoying the process of being an athlete or, or running and these kind of things, simply because you know, they're just like tired all the time and being worn down by the fact that um, they can't transport oxygen like they should be able to. <clears throat> so in my experience with athletes, you know, getting optimal ferritin levels is literally like turning off the dimmer um, light and like put it on that, you know, clicking it all the way over till it's like the full brightness. Uh, if you ever had a dimmer in your kitchen or, or living room, you know how there's like that dim light and then you turn it up, it's like, whoa, um, now we can see things, now I can read some stuff. And that's literally um, how it can be for a child whose iron levels are low, and especially if they're an athlete and it comes back up to normal. These kids are like, whoa, th you know, this is crazy. You know, like they knew they could perform better. They knew they had more in them, um, but just their body just wouldn't go any farther. You know, their heart rate was just too high. They're, they're getting too short on breath too easily. Um, and yet they've been practicing them and training for so long and just not getting the results they knew they should be getting from the amount of effort they've been putting in. So don't wait any longer. Get your ferritin level checked. 
um, talk to your doctor about what you can do to um, optimize it. And uh, in upcoming videos, I will um, be sure to give my opinion um, on what I found works excellent for athletes and, and gen the general population as well, um, both from a uh, dietary perspective, supplemental perspective, lifestyle perspective, uh, because you know I got five kiddos, five girls, and I'm not one to allow a simple nutrient deficiency to hold them back from performing at their highest level. So I'm Dr. Matt, and uh, we are going to help our kiddos accumulate massive health.